Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name's Kaylee. I'm a self-taught wet-on-wet oil painter. I use the modified technique of Bob Ross and Bill Alexander. And my favorite scenes to paint are definitely landscapes. I'm learning to paint a little bit of floral scenes, stills, animals, successfully completing about two dog portraits, a couple horses, and you know, a moose here and there. Um, but you probably won't see too much of that on here because today we're gonna do something really special. I have a new series coming out on clouds. We're gonna have four episodes to it and you can see I've already got it kind of planned out up here. Today we're doing clouds with a palette knife. So the colors we're gonna be using today, we've got titanium white, bright red, phthalo blue, and here is an even mixture of alizarin crimson and phthalo green makes a really pretty gray which we're going to use today and uh, just in case i have also a little bit of alizarin crimson just on its own over there now i already have some liquid white on this top corner here um real thin you definitely don't want too much if you have too much it's not going to yield a very good result um you can test it with your finger i kind of just look at it and usually i put it on and then use a paper towel wipe off the excess it works really well for me but you can figure out what works best for you now that we have the paints, we'll talk about what we need to do this little cloud tutorial. Um, got my two inch brush. This is just gonna get the color on the background for us. And uh, I have the Bob Ross small knife. You can use, you know, whatever you have, whatever sizes you'd like. I have a big one as well. I'll show you both ways. We're gonna start with a little bit of phthalo blue just to get some color on the background. Just tap that into the brush. Um, not too much, it goes a long way. I'm working from the top down, I'm gonna do little X's. Get the paint in on the top and as you work down, it'll kind of fade out a little bit as we get closer to the horizon line. And we're just gonna pretend for today that this is the horizon line. Um, and we're just doing some sky examples, not full scenes. So as we get down, it'll get lighter and lighter. Blending also with the liquid white. And just gonna blend it in a little bit, get further along here. Just gonna keep blending this a little bit to kind of get the look that I want here. And to get all of those brush strokes out, we'll just lightly go across the whole piece. And that's it. Just mixing together my alizarin crimson uh, here and phthalo green to get that nice gray color. Picking it all the way up and flipping it over, doing your little X patterns, whatever. You wanna get this really well blended so that you have um, a pretty solid color. And a good way to really check if you've done a good job mixing it just grab a little bit of white and throw it in your color and see what you've got. To start out, we're gonna put in kind of like the base of the cloud by taking a little bit of our gray and mixing it with the white. It creates a lighter gray, which is what we're going for. I'm gonna take the paint and cut across, get that little roll there on the end of the knife. But you probably can't see that too well. I'll see if I can zoom in on that. We'll see. And uh, thinking some kind of wispy type clouds, you know, those ones that are real long in the sky. Um, they just kind of seem to go on forever. It's pretty simple. I know I say that. <laughs> but it's gonna be just real simple, uh, similar to putting on a mountain, just kind of dragging the knife across and really getting that effect there. You don't have to be very precise on this. We're just kind of putting in a little bit of a base there. We're gonna highlight them later. 
Um, the light here on this one is going to be coming from from the left. <laughs> I'm getting again that same roll of paint here and I'm just going to put in and work on a few of these clouds and go ahead and follow along if you'd like. Just making some real rough movements. Again, you don't have to be exact. You know, a little shaky hand might help out, which is good because I was a little bit nervous for this today. So, got a little bit of a dirty knife here. Just go ahead and keep working on these. I'm gonna do maybe like two or three. Again, the horizon line is right here, so we wanna kind of keep that in mind is how we're leading these clouds. And again, this is only the sky, so a horizon line, maybe somewhere in this area, you know, use your imagination. I think I'm going to stop there and show you the next step. Now that we have all of this paint up on here, we have to remove some of that so that we aren't pushing around a bunch of paint, just kind of making mud happen up here. That's not really what we want. So take your clean rag, whatever palette knife and just scrape off the excess paint on all of it, you know. And don't get too aggressive, but it's, you just kind of uh, put it level up there and scrape off the excess paint. It's okay if you push some of this around. They are clouds and they do blow in the wind, so it's not gonna really do anything bad for the effect. I take my big blender brush and we're just going to dance around these clouds in the sky, make them a little softer. I'm going to use a nice dry um, blender brush. I have a lot of them, so I'm not going to wash in between. Um, hopefully that's not a problem for you. Um, so this one that we use to put on the background color, it has just a little bit too much dirt in it. We don't want to mix that up into this gray color too much more. Now it's going to already happen when we're blending, but anyway, clean, dry, two inch brush. And we're just going to lift up the clouds real gently. With the brush, I'm just going right up against it and lifting. And I like to do this in kind of like a semicircle sort of thing. You know, if you're on a big canvas here, you may be doing it and lifting it towards the center. On this little one here, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. Just thinking that these are my edges here, lifting out this way. And then we'll pull this side back into the piece and the frame, just a little bit. Now I'm going to pull it in the direction that the clouds are going just to give them that wispy look. I'm pretty light. You may hear it, but I'm really, really light on the bristles here. I like the way these look, so I'm going to lift them a little more. But don't get too critical on yourself. Now I really like using the small palette knife. I use that most. Um, something about the balance of it. I just, I really like it. So you can use the bigger one. In fact, um, to show you that it doesn't really matter. I will put in the highlights on these clouds with, uh, and get some clean white here and pull it out nice and flat. And then we're going to add some of this highlight color, just the bright red to make it real simple today. And just kind of Mix it in, not too, you know, blended because um, you don't want it to be like pink, but kind of like a marbled color and it was a little bright. So I'm going to kind of tone that down a little, got a little excited. 
the spread red goes real far. So the same way as before, just going to cut off that roll of paint and thinking where the light is coming uh, is on, you know, from the left over here. So the, it's going to be touching on some of these high points. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to drag this knife in and around and let whatever needs to pull off, pull off, kind of be light with it. Maybe a little over here. Get some movement in there. You don't want like all straight lines. Sometimes that's just the way it comes out with the knife, which that's okay too. We've got a little bit on there. Let's go ahead and go to the next one here. Put some highlight on, real simple. Just drag it across. I mean, you don't even have to spend that much time on it. Get some of these. Just want to get that highlight on the top. work it in. Maybe we'll put some in here on the bottom. Just taking out a little bit of the rough bottoms and kind of just pushing it in a little bit to that gray that we already mixed up here. Just making it a little bit of a softer edge. You can do that with your knife. Now that we got the highlight up on there, I'm gonna pull off a little bit of the excess again, just like we did before. You just don't wanna push around too much of this extra paint. Blending brush again, I'm gonna lift this up. and blend it out, real soft, just barely touching the canvas. Try not to do too much, you know, the more that you keep messing with it, lifting and pulling it out, the more it's gonna turn into something you probably don't want. Doesn't mean you can't fix it, but I'm just gonna leave that with this. We've got kind of a little gunk right there, clean that up. And then pull these out a little more, just because I really like that effect. Clean up the bottom. And uh, you're in business. Hi, welcome back. Season one clouds. This is, uh, we're working on episode two. This is gonna be a one inch brush cloud. Hello, welcome back. Episode two, we're gonna do one inch brush, but we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the two inch brush to put on the background color real quick. Um, we're just gonna hop into that phthalo blue, just a nice simple color for you um, to just kind of get the technique down, not necessarily doing all the same colors. Working from the top down, uh, and the light is still going to be coming from the left here. So, gotta hold on to this thing here. I'm gonna kind of make this one a little bit rougher with the brush, just kind of get in there and twist it around and. Ugh. Like Diane does, <laughs> they just growling in there. <laughs> uh, I'm working down pretty much to the bottom again. This is just our horizon line here because we're just working on skies and clouds here. And I'm going to leave it right like that. Come over here and grab a little bit of crimson, just a touch. And then go into this gray mixture. Uh, this gray mixture, um, is even parts alizarin crimson and phthalo green so it's a nice little gray i just wanted a little bit more on the red side 
I'm just gonna kind of tap it into the brush here. And I'm gonna work that in here, just on the bottom, just kind of real light to get kind of this hint of purple down here. It's gonna be kind of like a real big storm cloud. You just blend it up. Um, if this were your horizon, you know, you'd use uh, just kind of blend out the bottom and make it a little wider here. Um, but it'll yield, it'll look like that when we're all done here. Now we're going to hop into the two inch brush, grab some white, sorry, one inch brush, grab your white and uh, we're pulling the paint down into it. You want to get that big roll of paint on the top and then we'll hop over and grab some gray. A little darker, That's about right. I want a little bit more red. That looks pretty good to me. Um, oh, I changed my mind. You're allowed to do that. A little darker. And we're going to work in layers here, starting with kind of what's the furthest section back, if you will, but just a few layers to make it nice and easy for you. And, uh, Taking the paint up on the top side, put that in kind of on a corner and make circles with it. And move those circles around. Just kind of getting these brush strokes in there. Here's the two inch. And just blend out the bottom here. You want to use a clean brush. I've got a few brushes going over here, so I'm just rotating them around. But if you have a clean one, that'll work best. We're just going to brush out the extra paint kind of and move it down, twirling the brush in circles, just blending out the bottom. It's really all you're doing. It's not too much to it, but sometimes it takes a little bit of practice, but you're just going to use a few of the bristles and just twirl them around. You know, there's not that many touching. Lifting it up and blend that out a little bit. We're going to highlight this cloud here. I've got a clean one inch brush. You'll probably just need two, one for the under and one for the top. Uh, here's another one. This was a mix I had going before. This is white with a tiny bit of bright red. And this is a real thick white a little bright red I'll add a little more just so it shows up we're loading this dragging it through the paint just like we did before and we're gonna take that paint put it to the top and touching on these top corners we're just gonna put in some highlights where you think they'll be Try not to keep doing the same stroke, the same circle, if you will. Just mix it up, mix it up a little bit. Twist it around, move it a little. Try and vary it up a little bit. Just gonna get it, wipe off a little bit of this blue I picked up and go right back into the highlight color. Finish off over here. Nice. Blender brush. Lift that up. We're going to do this a lot in clouds. Lifting it up. Just softly, barely touch it. The more you practice, the better you get. And then already there, you can see a nice line of, well, you know, clouds. So let's do it again. Take that dark colored brush, the one inch brush you had going. Drag it through this darker, whitish gray color we've got going on over here. I'm gonna work that in in a new layer here. It needs to be a little bit darker still so it'll show up. And 
working in those circles. Just really get excited and put these in however you want. Just working in this next layer here. Drag out some of the bottoms and get rid of some of that extra paint just by moving it around and really softening it up. It'll just add that extra dimension into your clouds later. Not too much. Lift. Soften it. Highlight. I'm getting a little bit of dirty white over here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more red and we'll just see what happens. We're working on the tops here again as our light's coming in from the left. We'll just highlight and dance around some of this color that we have on the top of our brush. And it'll show up more than you think. Don't get too upset if it doesn't look like it's popping off because it definitely will. Sometimes I give the brush a little bit of a push there. You can see that action with the paint. I'm gonna call that okay for now. Do some circles. Lift. Soften. Cool, huh? We'll do one more little kind of layer in there just to show you what we can do. Maybe there's a little bit of sky popping through there. Who knows? We can throw this one up, kind of dance it in. And then we'll just blend out the bottom here. As you can see, I'm working in circles. Sometimes I move around a little bit, uh, but we're really just working in circles. Again, just getting that top corner of the brush really pushing just that top corner really in there. That's all we need, well, all we really need. Lift that up one more time. Oh, we still have to do the highlight. Soften it. Highlight brush. Take that into our white, dragging it in. I'm actually gonna pile it back up. Sometimes it just doesn't work the same. So get a new pile here. And you'll really be able to drag it into the brush a little bit better there. Get it loaded in. And you really want to highlight these in here. Light coming from the left side again. And just think where the light's going to hit. Put it in. It's up to you. You can always change it or... Try again. We'll blend this out a little again. Little circles, twirling it up, moving it around. There's wind and all that's happening in there. Lift. Blend it out. There you go. One inch brush, real fluffy clouds, kind of like the storm is rolling in there. Um, that's it. Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we're working on clouds again. Uh, episode three here. Uh, we're going to do kind of a stormy scene, maybe 
on the beach. Uh, you could kind of do this in any color, but it's just going to be more the technique of applying the, the paint and highlighting it in a way that shows kind of like a peephole through the clouds. Uh, so we're going to use the big brush, Thalo Blue, and this is kind of already a dirty brush from earlier, Thalo Blue and Thalo Green. And I kind of want to dull it a little, so I'm grabbing some gray and just mixing that in there. Till I get kind of a color that I'm looking for, but we won't really know until we get onto the canvas. Still working from the general kind of top down rule of thumb this being our horizon line just going to imagine the sun maybe somewhere in this general area and we're going to work in the color towards that area and blending it as we get closer i'm getting really rough with this I wanted to try and avoid getting some of this blue where I don't really want it. Um, we're using phthalo green in here, so it's always already going to get a little bit of a green color. But uh, the liquid white, that's important. You need that. So now that it's on, make sure there's not too much. We'll try it. Really just working with brush. That's so much better. And going to pick up a little bit more phthalo green here. I'm just kind of dancing this brush around and just seeing what comes off and just leaving it like that. Again, we want the top to be darker, but we can still work on that by coming back in here and just darkening it, darkening it up a little bit. But we're just moving the brush around and getting, you know, having a lot of fun with it, just moving it around in there. Just going to blend this a little bit and soften up some of these. Still kind of moving similarly. Some circular brush strokes in here. But looking up, uh, just seeing the, the sky pop right through there. I'm gonna get this brush and go into some of this gray color. Remember that one's even mixtures of phthalo green and lizard crimson and just darken up these corners a little bit more. Find it out again, just soften it. Right, now that we've got our little base color in here, clean off a little spot. And we're actually gonna use a fan brush. I didn't really say that earlier. And we're gonna take this fan brush and drag it through. I'm using a number six. We're gonna go into the white, get a tiny bit of red for our highlight color. And I like to give it a little movement to get the paint to work into the bristles. So we really get a lot of paint in there. 
And then you can see that there's quite a lot of paint in the bristles there. And starting right here in the middle, we're just gonna put the fan brush in there and really move it about and kind of move around and find your way out. And clean it off, do it again. You can always add a little bit more pink and we're gonna do this a couple times. So don't get too harsh on yourself. Just give it a try and see how you like it. Wiggle it in, get all that paint in. And starting in the center again, let's move around. Just really pushing that brush in and just getting crazy with it. See what comes off. I'm gonna put a little more over here since I've got some color on. I've got quite a bit of paint here in the middle, so I'm just gonna scrape some of that off so we don't drag it all around. into that white and maybe get some more on the palette. White, bright red, wiggle it in and work our way out from the center where that light is. Back into our white. little bright red into the center and pop this up. Sometimes I give it a push up, like if you're doing a pine tree maybe, but do it however you want. I'm just gonna pull off this extra paint here. Now working from the center out, we're just gonna kind of soften some of these edges and uh, make some clouds. We're working in those nice little circles. And if the light's coming from in here somewhere, you know, these front edges are gonna be pretty, pretty strong, but again, you can just do it whatever you think, whatever you like. Got a little bit of dirt in there, flip the brush around. And then Mixing, softening. We're just gonna uh, lift it up just like we've been doing on all the other clouds here. Lift. And take out all those brush strokes. Just real light, barely touching the canvas on, the, on these strokes here. Just gonna develop a little bit more around this center of light here. And we'll see, see what happens. blending brush. Now we're just blending out the back of the cloud here, leaving those top edges as your highlights. Flip. And just 
off when you're downloading. Now remember our horizon line is going to be somewhere down here on the bottom and you can work in a few more layers here if you want. Um, but I'm going to leave it just like that. All right, now that we've got this big light spot in here, there's just one more step. I'm going to take some bright white here on our brush, titanium white on the brush. We're just going to, oh, into the red, make this a nice kind of a sunshine type color. And uh, if we're going to imagine that the sun is maybe poking out of this, you know, it could be right here, kind of poking out. And I'm just going to drag in some of these strokes. They're straight lines coming out of the center. And just let, let them come out as they do. And they'll leave some lines in there, um, kind of like you've got a little sun going on. Hello, welcome back to my studio. Today I'm doing uh, episode four of Clouds. We're gonna do a sunset scene, so we're gonna get some colors in there first. Let me show you what I've got going on on my palette. Just gonna clean off a little bit of my mess over here and show you what I have. I have some messy whites. Um, we'll pretend that there's some crisp white here. You'll need it. My cad yellow, yellow ochre, bright red, phthalo blue. This is still my gray mix of even parts, phthalo green and alizarin crimson. And then I have those two colors uh, over here just to use. Um, and like I said, we're going to do kind of like a sunset scene. So we're going to start, um, start with it. I've already prepped this, uh, with liquid white. It's ready to go. And we're going to start with, we're going to start with, um, just a little bit of white, just tap that into the brush and some cad yellow, a real light color first. And just to do something different, we'll have our light source right in this area. Um, now we're gonna add some yellow ochre to that same color. And I'm using a little X stroke to go around just doing a circle today. Uh, if you had water below, you might use these colors before you add your next color to reflect that into your water, but we'll get into a little bit more of those techniques later today, just the sky. Uh, yellow ochre, I'm gonna add just a touch of red to that now, kind of like a peachy color. And those little X strokes, a little bit more color there. And a little bit more red even still. Just getting darker as we work out. Don't worry about blending it yet. We'll do that in a minute. A little more color. Try and be really careful. You probably won't have to worry about this, but I've got this blue to conflict with over here. 
I don't want to get any of that going on yet. Bright red. Now I'm going to go over here and grab a little bit of crimson. Let me darken it up a little. Yeah, that's real nice. Crimson, bright red, still dirty brush. Yeah, I'm just trying to be really careful over here again. You might have a little bit more room to play with that edge there. Um, crimson, again, I'm just adding to it as we move further away. I'm gonna get just a touch of blue. And you saw that, it was just a touch. It goes a real long way. And I'm gonna hit that here, get our corner. A little bit too much blue. Like I said, it just, <laughs> really will take off that's okay though we can work with that and just a little bit more blue right up there in that corner And we might use some of this color to work down on some of the corners if you're doing a full landscape scene. I'm just using this lavender, maybe for the mountain, for the ocean. I'm just going to put a tiny bit up in this corner to help us. And then we'll blend. Got a clean brush here. Hopefully it's clean enough. <laughs> you want to use a clean brush or it's going to turn into a little bit of a green, but fingers crossed. Uh, I'm going to put this pretty flat on the canvas and work um, in just kind of like a back and, back and forth, like a blending stroke, um, working in a circle, trying to keep the lightest point always in the center. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Because as I move this around, just kind of softening it up, and I, I like to choke up on the brush, it's a little easier to hold. I'm just going to flip the brush, keeping the center where it's the lightest part. And we don't want to take this, you can see where there's red here, and you don't want to put that red into the center. So we'll keep the light point up on your blending brush. And just working out until it's where you want it, you just keep on working it, making it softer. And when you get it to where you want, then stop. If you have a little bit of this texture in there, that'll help you for clouds though too. So definitely keep that in mind. You don't need to have them be really um, super harsh lines, but not, you don't wanna have any completely gone, you know, you can just kind of find somewhere in the middle that works for you. And you can see I've been flipping my brush, keeping that light point, which now it's still up here towards the center. And I'm, I am doing an X stroke here. It's just kind of faster. Just gonna kind of bring some of that dark down just a little. And now I'm going up into more of some of this blue color. So I just wanted to make sure I was done with the center there before I got this real dark color. Cause we're probably not gonna wanna go back into the center after that. And I'm just softening this until it's kind of where I like it. Just gonna kind of move some of this around 
give it a little bit of texture here and there. Just, that's how I like it. And um, if you don't, that's okay. You can do it however you want to do it. But I'm going to kind of weave my sky somewhat like that. If you really like, which I do, I like to put these in, the sun in. Kind of helps you and also the effect is just really neat. And just scrape off the extra. And blend it out real soft. Just barely touch it. Oof, you see I gunked it up there, so I'm just gonna pull it out. Only you and I will know. <laughs> I'm going to take a clean fan brush and go into some white here and kind of working in a similar order um, as how we put on the sky. We're going to put in some clouds. So starting with white, we'll go into that first kind of like peachy color that we had, a mixture of a tiny bit of cad yellow yellow ochre and bright red. You can use whatever, you know, version of that that you like. I'm just gonna show you what I would do with this, if it were me. So, peachy, I like that. Um, you know, it'll show up, but it's still not too bright, not too dark. And I'm just gonna use the corner of the fan brush. I really turn it on its edge here and use the corner and do little circles with that and put in some little clouds. And these are real, I just flipped the brush around a little bit here, real gentle. See, and now they almost even disappear as they work out, which is what you want. I'm gonna pick up that color again. We're just working in this kind of first area, just putting in a few, little clouds that are going to be picked up kind of show what we've got going on. Now we're going to make these darker. We've already got kind of a color going on here. So just go ahead and grab that. And this is a redder version of that peach. It's just more red and yellow ochre and a tiny bit of crimson, which we still have some of over there. And, uh, gonna go and work on this cloud that's kind of moving towards us a little and just wiggle the brush around kind of scrub it in if you want get some more paint I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of that uh, lavender type color getting a little darker now I'm just making a lavender here. I ran out of colors, so. Um, crimson and phthalo blue. We did have a little bit of this gray in there too. We'll make some kind of bigger clouds that are a little further away from the sun. Just growling those in there. I'm gonna get back into kind of this little peach color and add something in here. I just, you know, kind of see it and I'm gonna go for that there. You just mix up your next paint and put it in. Now, 
with some lavender. We're just mixing all this on the brush just to keep it easy. I didn't really like the color of that one, so I just went back over it and you can do that. You can do whatever you want. Mix it all up. Now we've got some cool clouds, the base of them in at least. And by now, hopefully you should know the drill, but I'll remind you just in case. Blend it out. Just gonna soften all of these up a little bit with this big brush. You can use a clean fan brush if you like. That's totally up to you. But I just wanna soften some of this, get some of those brush strokes out, maybe leave some of them. Just really soften up what we've got going on and blend in some of those sections where we've got a little bit more of a harsh line going on. We don't really want that. Um, if you like that, again, you can keep it. Um, now I feel like I've blended them to where I like. I just want to lift them up a little bit, soften out all those edges, and just real lightly go over the whole thing. All right, last step on these clouds is highlight. We'll take, uh, use your, um, you the same brush you were using, just wipe out some of that paint um, and go right into the white. We do want it to be kind of like an off-white color. So that's all okay there. I want this one to be a little bit more on the peachy side. So I'm just gonna grab some yellow and work that in and touch on these where we want the highlights on these clouds and the sun's right here in the middle. So we're just gonna push up where we want those highlights to hit on these clouds. And on this side, we'll push down. It's a little harder, but just touch it works. Grab a little bit more paint and work our way out. Really like to push, give it some movement and not just always staying in the same spot, working on the same plane. Um, you don't really see a lot of I mean, you see the leaves and rocks and stuff, but you're not going to see a lot of straight lines in the clouds. No, somebody will prove me wrong with that, but that's okay. <laughs> Just for it, for the artistic purposes, we'll kind of uh, move it around a little bit and keep it interesting. And as we're working out, I am going to kind of darken this color just a little bit, but we're still putting highlights on, so you can you can play around with the colors to whatever you like best. And if you really don't like it, you can take it off and try again. So I'm just pushing down to get some of some highlights to come out on some of these clouds. You do want it to get darker as we're moving out, but it still helps to have a little bit of this kind of detail, not detail. <laughs> It looks like more detail, but you're doing less. Take a clean blending brush and blend out the bottoms. And if you want to get a smaller brush for this, you're welcome to. I've used a small uh, sable brush, which I have here. It's pretty handy. Um, it's soft, so it works really well. I like the big brush 
um, mostly because there's a lot of bristles on it and I've grown to uh, be comfortable with it. So the more that you use it, I imagine you'll become more comfortable just like I have, but um, maybe you don't like it and you don't use it and that's okay. We're just blending out bottom here and while I'm doing this, hopefully you're following along. Blending out the bottoms. Really make sure you're varying up your stroke or your little circles. Just mix it up. Don't just keep doing the same circle after circle. Mix it, you know, go one way and the other way and, and really bury it up a little bit. It'll really help these um, look a lot more realistic to you. This one's just a little small, so I'm just kind of tapping it out right there, which works really well, actually. So. I feel like that's pretty adequate and I'm going to just lift these up. And real softly blend it off. Just take out all those extra brush strokes that you just put in. give some of these clouds right in here a little extra pop so I'm going to go back into my titanium white and just a little bit of yellow ochre uh, it's really it's it's white but it, it's an off white I don't usually use a lot of just pure white it's a little bit harsh so I like to kind of mix that in with something else um, unless unless you're going to be blending it around later but this we're just going to pop in right on the tips of where that sun is just going to be coming through here. And a little bit goes a long way. We don't want to do this on, on all of them like we did with the other stuff because that's just going to get too, you know, too much. But where you think it's really going to, you know, set it off just to add in a few little pops of that little highlight there. You'll be pretty happy with it. Let me put a little on the bottom of this cloud. Maybe just a little here. Get a little bit more. I'm just going to take this brush that I've already got going here, put in just a final bit, and I'm 
just a real light hit with the brush, lifting up some of those fresh ones we just put in there and just move them around just a little bit and just soften it. All right, we are all finished with uh, my first season of tutorial. It's real short, four different techniques of how to paint clouds. Um, palette knife, one inch brush, uh, two inch brush and fan brush, and just a combination of the uh, two inch and the fan brush for kind of a sunset scene. So this is four different ideas of how to paint. Hey everyone, just wanted to take some time to thank everybody. I've got a lot of new subscribers. Um, really, I have a brand new channel, so all of it's really new to me and I just wanted to thank everybody for your support. Um, I've got one member so far in um, my supplies and coffee community. I'm really happy, Brian Cullen. I hope I'm saying that right, uh, but thank you very much. And uh, for the rest of you to be able to see all of these um, all at once, I'm gonna be releasing some more tutorials. I've got some mountain ones coming. Um, trees, river rocks, you know, some different types of versions of the similar thing where we're going to do four different styles all combined and then I'll release uh, each one as an individual episode weekly to my regular channel and then I'll be offering that early release, the full video, all four in one video that will be on my membership channel. Um, so you get that early access to the video if you really just don't want to wait. If you want to help support me, there'll be some other videos upcoming, but I'm just still working on getting all of those together. So we'll see, um, we'll see you there.